When it comes to giving things a second life, it can be hard to work out the sustainable way. Well, today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks so you can be a sustainable recycling pro. We've all had heated debates about what can be recycled or not. Well, the fact of the matter is that it comes down to your local council, as each will be different. But there are a few things that you can do that'll help no matter where you live. Make sure it's clean. Take the time to rinse bottles and jars before placing in the recycling. Flatten your cardboard. This will save space in your bin and make room for more recycling. You can also set up designated recycling tubs in your home. You often don't think about all the packaging on the new things that you buy. So when it comes to those big bulky boxes like your fridge or washing machine, keep it flat and stored away out of sight. Most cities have a recycling centre that will accept cardboard materials at no charge. So it's a quick drive to sort it all out. Some companies and retailers will actually take the packaging away for you. So look out for these options when buying your new appliances. If you have old clothing that is still in good nick, then the best option for you is to donate to your local charity. Just make sure that all the items are washed and folded before you donate. If your clothes, however, are damaged or a bit worse for wear, you can donate them to a local animal shelter. Also, some fashion retail giants offer recycling services of your unwanted clothes of any brand in any condition. So it pays to do your research. Technology updates faster than we can keep up with it. Some businesses and retailers like Officeworks will take your unwanted tech and recycle it. Dedicate one tub to your local e-waste and then make the effort to drop it off at your local drop-off point when it's been filled. And make sure that all data has been wiped prior to dropping off. Follow these tips so you can be a recycling pro.